you know, there's certain emojis that you can and can't use. People have certain things with the emojis. You know where I'm going. The purple devil emoji on, you know, Katie's post. What was that about? How'd you feel about after that when you got yeah some flack? I mean, I mean, we're all learning, right? <laughs> I took I took that L pretty hard. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, for me, right? Like the tricky thing was is I never even thought that she was going to end up with somebody else. Like, I believe that deep, I believe that deep in my soul. And so. When you say someone else, like from the show. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Like okay. I, I had a feeling that, that after I left, I, I felt like this connection between her and I, that maybe there was still hope for something down the road. Um, but you don't do that on someone's wall you know, when everybody's watching, you know, and, you know, I needed to wait until the whole thing, the whole show was, you know, over before I should have said anything. But yeah, that one, that one hurt. Gotcha. And what about uh, Amanda Klutz, uh, co-host on The Talk? How did that friendship come about? Because the internet was basically buzzing a while back when they saw you hanging out. Uh, what's up with that? So, you guys may not know this, but Amanda's from Akron area. So, so her and I are from here. You know, her story is also very tragic. You know, she lost her husband to COVID. Um, she has a, a young child, um, Elvis, who's, uh, you know, James's age. And so, you know, she lives out in LA. I'm, I'm here in Akron still. And once I got off the show, she kind of reached out and we started talking and developed this friendship. And we had just so many similarities and, and I guess the way we look at life, hopeful, but also with some reverence to the tragedy that we've had to overcome. And it, just this great friendship happened. And so when she came back to uh, Akron for Christmas, you know, I was like, let's, let's go grab a drink and got to meet her parents, got to meet Elvis. They're an amazing, amazing family. And I think, she, I think she'll be a lifelong friend. She's is salt of the earth. See, that's like some of the beautiful things about being on the show is that your story, you know, is opened up to Bachelor Nation and Bachelor fans. And so therefore you can connect with so many more people. So like, Exactly. We can say there's there's negative, but there's also these awesome, beautiful things that take place. As well. Exactly. I mean, I, I would take all knowing all the negative. I, I'd run back into it again. Definitely. With, Same. You know, your your friendship with Amanda. Can you share, you know, because you guys have a similar background. Can you share anything that you would tell a friend or just someone listening that has lost someone or is struggling? What would your advice be? I would say you know, the, the bravest and strongest thing you can ever do is ask for help. 